Welcome everyone to our weekly video. I'm here with a dear friend and a really great parishioner, Pete Ingrassi, that I believe many of you know. He's been a parishioner for very long, and he's going to kind of reintroduce all of us to a ministry in our parish that's been going on for a while, but that we're really going to expand. It's called Harrison House, and I'll let Pete speak about that in a moment. But first, Pete and I are in front of our new mosaic here in our, our courtyard, as we're calling it, between the rectory garage and the parish center over there. And this beautiful mosaic, it was donated by a parishioner of St. Elizabeth of Hungary. And we just thought it was a very apropos place to have Pete expand on this concept of Harrison House, because we know that St. Elizabeth was so dedicated to reaching out those who are in need in her community. And that's basically what Harrison House does. So yes, if you could explain a little bit to our parishioners, sure. I know some have been doing it for a while, but now we're gonna do it on a bigger yeah, scale. Yeah, we're going to expand it a little bit. Further. Okay. So uh, thank you for the opportunity to share a little bit about Harrison House. The uh, Robert Harrison House was uh, launched back in 1992 uh, with an organization within Bergen County uh, called New Jersey Buddies. It provides a safe uh, harbor for individuals that live with the HIV virus. Mm -hmm. um, and it is really a group home. Mm -hmm. And today mm -hmm. there's about five to six individuals that are living there. Mm -hmm. And back in 2000, right, St. E's first got involved in it. Wow. Uh, so we're looking at 23 years. And uh, we became part of, you know, local churches within our community mm -hmm. with the sponsorship for the Catholic um, AIDS Network, right. which is sponsored by, by the, the Archdiocese, Archdiocese right? yeah. of, of Newark. And it was primarily for churches similar to St. Elizabeth's to provide mm -hmm. a, a dinner uh, to those residents on a daily basis. Um, to provide them with, you know, a protein, a starch, a vegetable, dessert, and, you know, provide that uh, every day. Right. And um, it's located at the New Bridge Medical Center mm, at okay. 230 uh, East Ridgewood Avenue in okay. Paramus, New Jersey. I don't want anyone to get... I know, when you say Harris and Harris, right, 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 right. It's right. in, it's in Paramus, Paramus, New Jersey. And what we do, what the volunteers would do, actually, is prepare a dinner deliver that dinner to the residents between 2.30 in the afternoon and 5 p.m. Mm -hmm. and we'll be good to go. So currently, St. Elizabeth's is uh, scheduled the first Thursday of every month. Right. And okay. we do have people that have signed up for those dates. However, where the need comes is that there are other dates available within the month. And what I'm asking for is the parish's assistance through volunteering uh, parishioners time to identify I'll identify what those days are mm -hmm. and post them right okay. or if you're interested you can give me a call at on my cell at 551-265-3230 or send me an email which is yeah uh, but we'll put bulletin. that we'll put in the bulletin in um, the blast and yeah. we can talk about what days are available if you have availability to provide the meal we'll sign you up and off we go. So yeah. that's the way we're looking to expand it. Thank you. Thank you. And and this expansion as well comes because uh, Pete was also involved in organizing what we used to call St. Martin's uh, Soup Kitchen, right? Yeah. That was taking place in the basement of Sacred Heart Church in Jersey City. But a lot of demographic changes happening there and the pandemic yep. and that ministry is really kind of not come, come to an end. Sadly. Yeah, I yeah. mean, it, it was a legacy program here at St. Elizabeth, right. uh, St. Martin Soup Kitchen. I was one of three coordinators with Dor uh, Dolores Gacacci uh, and, Tim, and Gilchrist. Uh, Tim Gilchrist. Right. Unfortunately, with the pandemic uh, and the facility closing, you know, uh, individuals down in Jersey City need to look for a consistent place to get their daily meal. Yeah. Um, so this is a great um, opportunity to uh, continue to feed those that are in need. It's local, it's relatively easy. And yeah. you know, what's a better way to get, you know, the gifts of the Holy Spirit through, you know, some joy and goodness and generosity than, you know, driving yeah. this program. So Thank I appreciate you. the opportunity to reach out to uh, Thank our you, parishioners Pete. and uh, drive it home. 
Thank you, thank you. And I, the way, as you were saying that, saying the word we kept using at the beginning of the pandemic was to pivot, yeah. right? You know, to pivot to, in a different direction. So we're pivoting thanks to Pete's leadership. And if any of you have any interest in helping out in any way, as I said, on my email blast, there's the information for yes. you. And on the website, we'll have it there as well. But so on behalf of the parish, thank you very yeah. much. And parishioners, just to wrap this up right now, uh, Pete and I are filming this on Divine Mercy Sunday. You're seeing it on Monday, the 7th. But next Sunday, the 23rd, in between the 1030 Mass and the 12 noon Mass, as I mentioned at the 1030 Mass this week, uh, we're going to do a very special um, parish-wide photograph. So outside of church, weather permitting, we're going to try to do with a drone uh, that Kathy was able to organize. We're going to do a big gro uh, group shot of everyone. So the only thing we're asking is if you do come next week to the 12 or 1030, 10.30 to stay a little bit later, 12 maybe come a little bit earlier. And if you could dress up in your Sunday best, uh, that would be great as well, because we want to uh, replicate a picture that's actually from 1902. Wow. Uh, very similar, I don't think they had drones back then, <laughs> but they took this really neat picture when our parish was just this tiny little uh, building at Clinton and Everett. So uh, we wanted to do a similar picture right now and then. So parishioners, if you're able to join us, please do so. It would really be a great opportunity. And once again, Pete, thank yeah. you. Parishioners, thank you for always tuning in and for always being so supportive. All right. God bless you. Thanks, everybody. Bye.